guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Nikki, and today we are gonna do a review on a product from The Ordinary. This is the Granactive Retinoid 5% and Squalane. I've been using this for about maybe 13, 14 months now, and I really wanted to wait and kind of compile my notes because you guys may already know that I've used prescription Retin-A and Tretinoin in the past. Typically those are a lot stronger than anything that you can get over the counter. So obviously I wanted to make sure I had enough time with this product before I said anything about it. So let's get started. So you might be wondering exactly what retinoids are. They're basically vitamin A derivatives and they come in cream form, gel form, you can get it um, in a mixture with oil. There are even pills with this stuff that you can take internally. They're prescription only, by the way. There's actually three main reasons why people would want to implement something like this to their skincare regimen. And that would be because of acne, psoriasis, and anti-aging. The specific reason why a dermatologist would prescribe someone a tretinoin or a retinoid for acne is because not only do retinoids unclog pores, but they also prevent dead skin cells from clogging pores to begin with. And that means it'll help prevent more breakouts. The reason why someone who's trying to fight the signs of aging would use a retinoid is because retinoids increase the production of collagen, they stimulate new blood vessels in the skin, fade age spots and freckles, and it actually helps to reduce precancerous skin spots, which is pretty important. People with psoriasis would also benefit from using retinoids in their skincare regimen because it helps slow down the skin cell growth on patients that have psoriasis. So you guys might be wondering what the difference is between a prescription and an over-the-counter product would be. Obviously a prescription product is going to be a lot more potent, it's going to be way more effective. However, with that being said, a lot of times it's pretty expensive. You have to go to a doctor to get it, which is no fun. Whereas with this, I think this was like $13. This particular over-the-counter product is so much better than any other over-the-counter products I have tried. Just to show you guys, this is a brand new tube. I haven't even opened it. In fact, it's probably going to expire pretty soon. I've been using this not only to review it, but what I really don't like about this is when I go to work after applying this, the first day is fine, but like two or three days after I put this on, my skin is so flaky. It literally, like it's, it's so disgusting. It flakes off. For real guys, it doesn't matter how much moisturizing cream I put on afterwards. I go to work, I have a really, really shiny face. I still look flaky and there's nothing like talking to someone. Like, you know, you're at the office, you're hanging out, you're talking to your friends and they're looking at you but they're not really looking at your eyes. Like they're looking at your face and it's like, you know what they're looking at, you know? And it's not their fault that you came in with a flaky face. So I remember one time, this guy from upstairs, he was in IT. He came down to help me with something with the network at my computer and I'm talking to him and he's like staring right here. And this is my dry spot. It's right here around my mouth and it just was like flaking off and I was I was really embarrassed I was so embarrassed you know and he was totally nice but it's like I know what you're looking at dude like let's just not I'm definitely gonna use this on my chest and my feet and I do have stretch marks on my stomach so I thought maybe I'd go ahead and just apply a little bit of that and see if maybe I can lighten those up a bit or you know make them not so noticeable so that's going to be my game plan for this guy, which is why I still have it. All right, I'm going to read from the website real fast because I have a differing opinion than they do on the website, and I just want to share that with you guys. It says it's good for normal, oily, combination, dry, and sensitive skin. I agree with all of it except oily skin. And the reason why I say that is it's formulated without oil, but I'm going to show you guys. It actually does have, like, it feels like an oil base. And it's not super bad by any means, but if you produce a lot of oil at night, which, by the way, if you use this, please use it in the PM. Do not put it on and go outside. If you put it on and you must go outside in the sunlight, wear an SPF, wear a hat. I've got a wide-brimmed hat somewhere over there, and I just put it on and I leave the house. So it's pretty liquidy but it does kind of have a little bit of, of a greasy feel. It really feels oily, so I just wanna give you a heads up. I'm not saying if you have oily skin, don't use it. 
that's not the case. What I would say is if you have oily skin and you want to use this, what I would do is I would get yourself a headband or like a nightcap and I'd put all of your hair up in it so you don't wake up with like, you know, your hair like stuck to your face. And typically with any skincare, if you have like a heavy cream that you wear at night, keep your hair up, especially if you have bangs like me. And now you guys are probably wondering why I'm saying that this is like the best over-the-counter product I have tried when it comes to Retin-A, Retinoids, Retinol, anything like that. So here's why I personally love the crap out of this. Like I'm, I'm obsessed with it. I tried a few other products and then I tried this guy. I use this three times a week. I put it on before I go to sleep. I wake up and wash my face the next day. Within 30 minutes of me applying this, it does actually absorb and I still apply a moisturizer on top to seal the deal. So I put on my moisturizer, go to sleep, wake up the next morning, I wash my face and my face is plump. It looks so much better. I've been working on these wrinkles and you can look at videos from I'd say two years ago versus today and my skin looks better today, which is crazy. So for the first month that I used this, I didn't really see much of a difference. I felt a difference with my skin texture and that was great. Retinoids take a while to work. So I didn't really like think much of it. I just kept going about my business, kept using it. It was right around the third month mark, right? The beginning of the third month. And if you guys saw me in person, I know the camera and like the lighting doesn't really show everything. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of freckles all over my face. I have faded so many freckles. Okay, so now we're zoomed in on my face. And I just wanna show you guys all of these little dots that look kind of light brown and yellow. These are all freckles. I have so many of them. So with makeup on, you guys really don't see that. This does work a lot slower than this product. I put it on, I don't have to worry about flaking. My skin actually feels hydrated. So here's my hand. It does absorb very, very well. So my favorite thing about the formula is underneath my eyes, it's incredibly dry. This has been really, really helpful. It makes this area a lot more smoother. Makeup goes on a lot better there. And if I put on foundation, concealer, if I'm baking and I use powder, like this just turns into a cake fest. It's really gross, even if I'm using moisturizer and primers. I know, it sounds insane. My wrinkles and fine lines look so much better. Everything else about this product is amazing, but what really takes the cake for me is what it does for my under eye area and right here around my mouth. So I'm incredibly satisfied with this product. I'm gonna continue using it, of course. I have no plans as of right now to try any other retinoids. Again, there's multiple options for retinoids that they have on their website, check them out. So just in case anyone has any questions about recommendations on what to use with this, what I will say worked for me was the Natural Moisturizing Factors HA the caffeine solution and the rosehip oil. Those things, I had zero chemical reactions. Everything played well with one another. It worked really well and my skin felt great. So if you've tried this product or any other retinoid from The Ordinary, please shout out down below. Tell us what you used, what your skin type was, and what products you used with it. Because I'm sure a lot of people are gonna have questions and it's always fun to help each other out. Yeah, so that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys found it informative at least. And if you guys could subscribe, that would be awesome. Give me a like, it helps me out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!